Um, obviously, going back to your playing career, you were sent out on loan, um, yeah. which I understand was cut rather <laughs> short due to not being registered correctly. Um, obviously, that was what it was, but how did that impact your progress, would you say, that you didn't have um, a medium to long-term loan opportunity? Yeah, well, once the kind of deal was kind of vaguely done or whatever you want to call it, it was kind of... Um, we just obviously didn't get it, get the contract done in time. Simple as that. But Peter Reid at the time had just taken over as manager, and Reid he said, "Well, just you know, obviously you can't play because of the contractual issues now, but you can come and train with us for a month." Um, and Reid he was staying in the same hotel as well, which was Andy. So we uh, we we did we did venture to the bar a couple of times, I'm sure, because <laughs> Reid he did like a couple. Um, and yeah, to be honest, it was. I was, I was expecting to only play one game. I was expecting to play, uh, you know, at least half a dozen, maybe 10 games and maybe extend my stay um, in Sunderland. Because obviously when I first got there, I'd never been to Sunderland before, but it was like, I got there and all good, great lads, all experienced, all pros. It was proper, in, it was in Roker Park as well. It wasn't like the nice bit now. So it was like, it was all proper boys. And um, I remember, for example, I got a delivery for some like, some, some, I think it was all like uh, I think it was Adidas at the time, and they sent a load of clobber down to me to you know for the games and stuff and all that. And the boys were like at Sunderland going, "What you get deliveries of like free clothes and stuff?" I was like, "Well, not usually, but obviously I'm out on loan doing this, so they want me to have some clobber, yeah." So they sent me a bit of clobber, but they were all a bit gutted because I don't think at that at that point in their time they were getting I don't know like track suits and free stuff and all that. And it, it just shows you sometimes when you step in from you know, a Liverpool who are so well known and, you know, a big club and then you go to a Sunderland, no disrespect, they are a big club and they've had a great history, but the difference in, you know, what you, the opportunities at certain places and even the training ground facilities and stuff, we're all slightly different because when you're at a top club and you're at a club that's on maybe on its way again, trying to find that consistency, it's uh, sometimes difficult, um, but it, I'm glad I did it, <laughs> even though I didn't play too many games, it wasn't the, I would say the the best experience of my life, but I tell you what, you learn from it, and I tell you why I had some great nights out with with certain people in uh, in Durham. So um, I'll take out that I've got a few friends in Durham now. That, that's the thing I take out of that. 